Today, we will study about the skin of mammals. The notable features of mammalian skin are 1, hair 2, epidermal glands 3, highly stratified, cornified epidermis 4, dermis, which is thicker than the epidermis. Epidermis. The epidermis of mammalian skin is composed of stratified squamous epithelium and consists of some layers of a variety of cells. Rapid cell divisions in the deepest layer of the epidermis push cells toward the surface of the skin. As cells progress toward the surface, they die and become keratinized. Keratinized cells make up the outer skin layer called stratum corneum. Stratum corneum prevents dehydration and is a first line of defense against many toxic substances and microorganisms because keratin is insoluble in water. Here is the epidermis. Dermis. Dermis is the thickest portion of the mammalian skin. It contains blood vessels, lymphatic vessels, nerve endings, hair follicles, small muscles and glands. The hypodermis underneath the dermis consists of loose connective tissue, adipose tissue and the skeletal muscles. Adipose tissue stores energy in the form of fat and provides insulation in cold environment. Skeletal muscle allows the skin above it to move independently of underlying tissues. Blood vessels thread from the hypodermis to the dermis and are absent from the epidermis. In humans and a few other animals, the skin regulates body temperature by opening and closing sweat pores in the process of sweating. The skin screens out excessive harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun, but it also lets in some necessary rays that convert a chemical in the skin into vitamin D. The skin is also an important sense organ, containing sensory receptors for heat, cold, touch, pressure and pain. The skin of humans and other mammals contains several types of glands. Sudoriferous glands, also called sweat glands, are distributed over most of the human body surface. These glands secrete sweat by a process called perspiration. Perspiration helps to regulate body temperature and maintain hormones, largely by the cooling effect of evaporation. Sebaceous oil glands are the glands connected to hair follicles in the dermis. They lubricate and protect by secreting sebum. Sebum is a permeability barrier, an emollient and a protective agent against microorganisms. Here is the dermis of mammalian skin. These are oil glands or sebaceous glands that secrete sebum. These are the sweat glands which secrete sweat. These are the nerves and blood vessels. Here is the fat and the hair follicle. Fats are present in the hypodermis which is present beneath the dermis. Skin color. Mammalian skin color is due to either pigments or anatomical structures that absorb or reflect light. Pigments are within the cells of the epidermis layer, in hair, or in specialized cells called chromatophores. Some skin color is due to the color of blood in superficial blood vessels reflected through the epidermis. Hair. Hair is composed of keratin-filled cells that develop from the epidermis. The portion of hair that protrudes from the skin is called the hair shaft, and the portion embedded beneath the skin is the root. An erector pili muscle attaches to the connective tissue sheath of a hair follicle surrounding the bulb of the hair root. When this muscle contracts, it pulls the follicle and its hair to an erect position. In humans, this is referred as a goose bump. This is the hair shaft present at the outside of the skin and the hair follicle inside the skin. Nails. Nails are the modifications of the epidermis. Nails are flat, horny plates on the dorsal surface of the distal segments of the digits. Other mammals have claws and hooves. Let's revise those things which we have studied about the skin. The first layer of human skin is the epidermis. The stratum corneum, outer layer of the skin which is composed of keratinized cells. The dermis which contains blood vessels, nerves, sweat glands that secrete sweat and sebaceous or oil glands that secrete sebum, ducts, hair erector muscles which are involved in the goose bump, and the hair follicle. The subcutaneous layer, also called hypodermis, contains adipose tissues to keep the body warm. Hope you like the video. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.
Do subscribe the channel for more videos.